It's often taboo to discuss the deliberate killing of offspring. It seems to go against the most basic laws of any civilization. Infanticide is the intentional killing of an infant under the age of one. Anthropologist Layla Williamson notes that infanticide has been practiced on every continent and by people on every level of cultural complexity, from hunters and gatherers to high civilizations, including our own ancestors. Rather than being an exception, it has always been the rule. Scientific research shows it provides benefits to increased reproductive opportunities, access to limited resources, and prevention of misdirected prenatal care. Basically, infanticide is a way to ensure that only the fittest survive. The Hanuman langur monkeys, also called gray langurs, are mainly found in southern India. The body of this primate is covered with long fur that can be silver, gray, brown, golden, red, or black. The color of the fur provides a camouflage in their environment. Langurs live in small groups called troops. They usually consist of one male, a few females, and their offspring. The langurs are actually considered to live in a matrilineal society. A set of several males that are usually related live within the group and enjoy mating privileges until they're driven out by the new males who take over. Once the males are off alone, they form an all-male group which wander around getting into trouble. One thing they do is look for opportunities to overthrow a male within a harem and take over his group of females. The one of the band members will quickly become alpha and kick all the others out again. When this happens, he usually kills all the babies who haven't weaned off their mother yet. According to the sexual selection hypothesis, infanticidal males will gain a reproductive advantage provided that only unrelated infants are killed and that males increase their chances of fathering the next infant. Only because the loss of the suckling infant leads to the onset of estrus in the mother. There are two reasons why a male would want to have females in estrus quickly. One is to just have more kids in his lifetime. The second thing to consider is that he suspects he will get overthrown sometime soon. So he needs to get started on kids early so they're weaned by the time some new male comes in and the new guy doesn't kill them. There are plenty of infanticidal primates. The lemurcata, red howlers, red colobus, silver leaf monkeys, a couple of different savanna baboons, and also chimps and gorillas among the apes. Monkey Kingdom is a nature documentary that follows a newborn monkey and its mother as they struggle to survive within the competitive social hierarchy of the troop. Just like our social class, the lowborns struggle to survive in the community's rigid social structure. Where the monkeys sit and sleep, what they may eat, who they can interact with, it's all clearly established and strictly enforced. It may be tempting to see mammal infanticide as an explanation for human child abuse. But you can't draw a simple parallel between, say, the death of a human child in a chaotic home where there's been lots of drug abuse and the death of a baby monkey that's been systematically stalked for days by an adult male. Infanticide has been recorded in a number of species such as rodents, primates, fish, insects, and amphibians. In the book, Too Hard for Science by Jamie Crims, a graduate student of cognitive and evolutionary anthropology, says, male lions, for example, when taking over a pride, often kill cubs served by other lions. She says, this releases more of the pride's necessarily limited resources for their biological offspring and returns females previously concerned with feeding and caring for their young to sexual receptivity. The case is similar in some non-human primates. Step parents are six times more likely to abuse a child under two years old than biological parents are. Krims explains, in the U.S., a stepchild is a hundred times more likely to be killed from violent abuse than biological offspring, and in England, though only 1% of babies live with a stepparent, 53% of baby killings are by stepparents. How and why we treat our biological kin differently, the naturalness of infanticide would act as even more support for fundamental evolutionary theories, and how animals are born with this instinctual behavior. So, is infanticide nature or nurture?